We will begin by putting in a quick sky background just for a frame of reference. More white again. Doesn't take much blue. There we go. Perfect. And we're just going to kind of sketch, fill in, and sketch the shape of what the top of some rocks might be, might look like. And this just gives us a frame of reference. It's where the sky and where the rant land begins. We'll let that dry. And we're going to go and put a background for our rocks. Some brown, some orange. Put a hint of yellow in it also for thickness. There we go, that's good. And we'll do the same thing. Fill that in. Got it fading up towards the top. And we'll cut that line in. Just follow this guy. If it overlaps a little, little that's okay too. It's a sketch right now. It gives some bit of a shadow to it. Some roundness to it. That's what the big brush is for. There we go. So we've got the far foundation here for a mountain range with the sky background. And while this paint is wet, I've just put this on very thinly. I'm going to take my sponge again and just dab it around to give a little bit of background texture. This will be appreciated as we paint. A lot of texture and rock and earth just gives a little bit of interest to it now. And then we'll dry this. Okay, so you can see that this is now dry. And uh, we're, well, the next step will be to put in some more of this color, wet, and then we'll be coming over it with the plastic wrap to create more texture. Okay. Lay this color in. A little earthier, a little darker. Fill it in nicely. So I'm using just a little bit of water. This is a wash once again. So now that it's wet, we're going to take our saran wrap, plastic wrap, pull that out. So we've got this, and we're going to crumple it a bit like this. And while it's still wet, we're going to lay it across here and get, pick up some of that paint. So we gain texture, we gain this. Pressing it down to lift up the paint. Then I want more, so I'm going to mix a little darker color here using the brown, some orange, my big brush. Get it wet again. We're going to put some feeling of some rocks, shake of, of rocks in the foreground shapes. Just kind of blotting it around. I'm going to do a couple lines in here. Texture like that. I'm going to go back to the plastic again. Pick up some of that, giving it more texture. Now back into here, pulling it out. Texture like that. And this, this is picking up paint, and you can pull it up into there as it picks up some of these dark pigments. Don't worry if you get some on the sky, you're going to paint that out later. That's some nice clean blue, clear blue. Now we'll say, let's take some actual dark brown and just put a little here and there. Very randomly positioning it. Pull that around, got texture. We're adding texture. Turn this around and use a fresh side. Texture. And again, I'll go back to my sponge, which I want to get wet again, just to soften it down a little bit. And I want to take some of this brush, add little bits of that color back in the background. I want to use it to soften certain areas, leave some distinct. Like that. Hit them again with a sponge. We're picking up some paint. Just adding more texture. Now here's a good place to, if you wanted to throw in a little bit of green, say, indicate some 
fauna growth, you could do that. In this case, I'm going to come back with my paint and add some distinctive forms for rock. I'm going to use some of the brown for shadow. I've changed brushes. It's a bit washy. I'm just going to make some shapes, add some lines. Very sketchy. Rock has all kinds of color in it. We'll add some highlights also in a bit. First, we're just going to kind of give some definition to the form. over with the sponge once again just to soften it down. We're going to make a lighter color using the white just in the same area. Mix some of this tan brown orange into the white. Need more orange to warm it up. Maybe a little bit of yellow. There we go. More earthy colors again. Just mix that in on the highlight side. Very sketchy. Take the sponge again, soften that down, let it pick up some. You see how it's adding texture, it's making this look like a foreground rock. Okay, now back to the plastic. I think I want to put, make it just a little bit damp. And that softens it all down. It softens everything down. Fix up a little paint here and there. Background. Now we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and accent it. We're going to develop this a bit more now as a painting. We've got some background in there and some texture and we're going to just enhance that. Some of these areas, I, I like these darker rust areas, so I want to define some of those a little bit more. So I'll take some orange, a little bit of brown. That's in our immediate background. Mix that up. And just kind of soften that background down with that some of that color. I'm going to soften this down behind these rock forms I've got here. Might be a desert landscape, or it could be any number of things. And soften this this mid background down a little bit. So we have a background, a mid ground, and a foreground. Take some of that color and enhance some pock, sort of pock holes in the rocks. Again, some brown and orange. Nice color. Some darkness here in the foreground. Under rock. giving them shape. And some of that darkness into the rocks. Texture. Then we'll come back with light. It's 
it's a little bit vague. Now we're going to come in with our smaller brush, this brush, and have some white. And I don't want pure white, but I'll mix it into the existing colors. Now I'm going to put an edge on the top of the rocks. For highlight. Just a little bit of an outline. Not everywhere. There's some dark spots on the rocks. We're accenting. Same here. Leave some of those dark spots as indications of variation in the rock. Maybe an under, underside here. A little bit here. Bring some of that into the landscape. Now, put a little bit lighter white here and there. So these are combining your tools. Plastic, your sponge, and your brush. to create effects. Once again, you want to play with this on your own. You'll come up with things that I have not. I'm just showing you basic techniques. Putting light into the already light areas. Just little bits here and there. take some of that light color. I'm going to mix it into the background here and there. Not much, just a little bit. Soft. Let's make it soft. Now let's put some of that on the some more white with some orange on the fake top of the rock. Here and there. Just for our light source is coming this way. Keeping the dark texture. These dark accents are very important. A little shape on the rock. Plastic again. Okay, go over those wet areas. You see, I've got these. This is very wet. I'll take the plastic, and mush it. And an accent, a little bit of an accent. I want some shadow in here. Same 
thing here. Hit it with the plastic just to soften it down. If you don't like it, you can change it, put in more paint again. Washing my brush out, I want to take some of this light color again, and I want to establish some light in the foreground here, on the ground, and I'm going to take this, or the plastic, that both work, give it more texture, more shading. How nice texture we get by doing that. Same thing here. Let that fade back. white in there just to lighten it up once again we started with darker tones mid tones we've added light or darks for accent now I'll put some more light in there in the background use this plastic again pick some of it up Letting that fade. Make a distinction between the rock and the background. Fading that out. Okay, now we want to have a little more. Contrast, where there's needed contrast, I'll put a little bit of orange in there. On the high side. It's kind of an experiment. See what you come up with. A little color to accent the edges. I'm not putting any of this intense color in the background anywhere, just in the rocks. And this is the point one would want to step back a bit and take a look at the overall. I think what I'll do is take a little more of that light. But just a hint of that in the foreground, once again to lighten it up.
And use our plastic again. Just kind of mushes it down. And let that set up a minute. And we're going to take a bit of this blue. Yeah, just a hint down in our shadow somewhere. Let's see, that's. Take a second here how to do that. Right, I want to put a little bit in the. Little bits on the surface of the rock because it reflects the sky here and there, and there might be a reflective quality. And we'll take some of the deeper blue, put a little bit into the shadow below. Take our plastic. Dab that a little, just to quiet it down. And there we have our quick study using plastic sponges to create texture.